Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Politically Correct Ghana Lesson 83. And today's title is Political Leadership to Sacrifice for the Nation of Ghana in Time of Crisis. Well, today we should have been discussing the state of the nation address in terms of the finance, but this just crossed my mind. I was reading um, that the finance minister of Ghana did say 30% um, cut in salaries of appointees of government that appointees would equate to 3.5 billion Ghana cities. So that is a sacrifice for the nation. I was like, oh, what? I am not too sure, but he is the one in charge. And so we have to respect him and I have to respect his figures. So then proportionally, proportionately, if three, if 30% of salary cut of government appointees can equate to 3.5 billion Ghana cities, and we need 6.9 billion Ghana cities out of e-levy or for e-levy to keep the country afloat, then of course, I would suggest a 59.7% cut in government appointee salary. That will equate to 6.9 billion Ghana cities. In any case, let's look at Article 71, folks. Oh, my time is almost up. The Article 71, folks, there are so many of them. I won't go for their removal, but, well, if you think of it, there are over 900, almost 1,000 people at the Flaster Fast working as government appointees. All they are doing, that job can be done by the civil servants. Look at the Council of State. The government appointees at the Council of State. Are they really necessary as against the elected ones? Look at the deputy ministers. Lots of them. The ministry has two, three. Look, there's so much unnecessary government appointments but what is up to the government to look at what for now we need is that instead of um 30 percent government 30 percent salary cut of government appointees it should rather go to 60 percent cut however mr ken of or kenborn who is a finance minister kenborn please note that your budget deficit is 12.1 percent as you publish and not 7.4 percent as you claim the name is h kwame thank you